Good afternoon, and welcome to Final Hill Farm. Uh, this is the second video today. Same shirt. So, uh, we got a delivery today. Wow, does that brown shed look like a disaster? Um, so, I thought I would let you guys know what we got. I made a mistake and took a nap during the hottest part of the day. Naps just don't work for me. I either wake up super groggy or I wake up with a headache. So, let's see what we got. Most of these were Big K's doing. I'd like to get that out there right now. So we got that bully tool, this thing. He got us this thing, which is a stand up, completely stand up tool. Bully tools made into USA. Um, that's the USA, y'all. So just so you all know. Um, so that was yesterday and that works pretty well. Uh, as with anything you're doing that's six feet or five feet long, whatever that is, um, less control. For instance, I would not like to use that to do, um, like around my around my already established zucchini plants. I wouldn't want to use that because that would be a little a little less accurate and I don't want to chop my zucchini plants off or my melons. Okay? So, there's that. Let's see if we don't die this time. Then, we got this one. I would love to tell you what all these are, but this is a Japanese weeding sickle. It says here, Japanese weeding sickle. Very sharp edge, quick work. But literally everything on here, even the warning label, is in Japanese. So, I assume this means don't cut yourself and don't leave around small children. But I don't read Japanese. So, but this thing came with this little guard. And that is super sharp, y'all. That's insane. So we're going to try that out. It's very smooth. We're going to try that out. See what that does. Now this thing... Big K watches a guy that homesteads down in Arkansas, I believe, and he does not have a YouTube channel. I would give it to you, but he does everything on Patreon, I believe, which is something I don't have. And I don't know if I'd ever do Patreon, but he uses this. Him and his wife use this. And this is a Korean thing. I don't know North or South Korea. It doesn't say. It just says made in Korea. But again, Korean writing. So I'm not exactly sure what this is called. But this has a very sharp point. But not really a blade. So it just has this really sharp point. But neither side is really sharp. So we are going to try these. Apparently, the guy that Kevin watches, his name is Joe. He and his wife love this, so I don't know. I guess we're going to try this one, and we're going to try the Japanese version. And I guess we'll see what happens between these two. Another thing we got that I thought you guys would appreciate, at least I thought it would be fun to talk about. I told you guys about that nine gauge wire. I didn't know this was coming today. This is the insect barrier and netting that you can put over that. And I don't know, can you see this? It says 
five by 100 insect barrier netting roll. This is not a roll. And this is made in China. But it is what it is. So, we got that. And we got these two new tools. I guess we should probably try and see how these tools do. Pretty excited about these, actually. I'm pretty excited about not picking up every little piece of grass. Uh, tuft of grass, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's go see how these work. I think this one needs a protector thing. I think Big K needs to come up with a, a way to protect this point. It's, it's not, it, it'll leave a mark. I don't know if you can see. It'll leave a mark, but it doesn't, like, if you accidentally hit, that would hurt. That would hurt a lot and definitely leave a mark. Hey, Ben! Bentley! Hey! He's going back down there again. I'm gonna end up having to put gloves on and go deal with that stuff. <sighs> Welcome to the country, y'all. You see I didn't get the T-post strung up either. We gotta do that, too. So, this may be a fairly long video and this may not come out until tomorrow, actually. So, yep. <sighs> ah. Beagles. Bentley! Come on! Come on, buddy. Looks like we gotta mow again. I don't want to. We need sheep. Or chickens. Come on, bud. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Maybe we can keep them up here now. Come on. Don't make me put you on a tie out. We got two acres. Don't make me put you on a tie out. Come on. Good boy, buddy. All right, let's see how this works. So overwhelming, I don't even know where to start in this thing. I guess if we're gonna see how this works in and around plants, we should probably start at the zucchini, huh? Or the sweet potatoes. All right, let's see what this, let's see how this works here. Let's bring you guys down to zucchini level. get a spot with some decent feetage. Maybe we'll go down here. Maybe we'll go down here. My walkway is becoming not a walkway anymore. All right, I'll put you on top of some zucchini. Might have to water tonight too. Dang. All right. So you can see this. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let's see. So, I like how it digs it up. 
What I am still unsure about is now what do you do with this? Because you're still going to have to pick it up, right? I mean, so we dug all these up, but then won't they just regrow? They don't think they're gonna decompose before they just start regrowing. You know what I mean? So like, I'm already getting my hands dirty and still having to pick them up. But I guess if you're just disrupting the soil just enough to uproot them, this one gives you a lot of control. And it's very specific. going very much for one thing directly, which I guess works really well if you're in and around a plant. Yeah, I would say that works really well. I don't know what these are, but they get these really long straight roots. Alright, so that worked pretty well. I mean, it pulled up all this stuff. So that worked. I like that. It's very, very specific, very pointed. Let's try this. This one I'm a little freaked out about because this is sharp. Well, let's try a new area. Can you see this down here? Right in here. Well, this just like cuts the roots right off the... Look at that, just sliced it. So that might do a little bit more trauma to the weed, which would make it so that it doesn't re-root, I guess. Maybe. What does it do with this grass? Same thing. It's just cutting the roots right off. Okay, so yeah, either one. Problem with the Japanese one is it's wide. It, the blade is on the wide side. So in the event that you are going after something between here, you gotta be real careful because that'll just cut right through your stock. But yeah, I think both of these are good halfway. I mean, they're good tools, very specific. They're very specific for what I would use them for, but both good options for weeding. I don't know how much these were. That would be a... I'll have to put that in the description if I don't, if Big K doesn't come out here. So, tying these trellises. I feel like this should be Big K's thing, being as though he was a he was in the Navy. I mean, seems like knots, rope knots, seems kind of like a Navy thing, don't it? What do I know? I guess we will try this on our own. a duck trap, y'all. You don't want to get stuck in here. Big K also got something called a green stock. He claims he didn't order it, but it came with his name on it, so I don't know what happened there. But 
we have one of them when he decides to set that up then we'll have to show you what that is it's basically a self-watering tiered planting I can put the uh, website in the description all right let's go see what we're gonna do here I have a lot more cucumbers coming up than peas so hmm. probably should have grabbed a knife for this project All right. over the top it'll get a little bit more strength maybe so I just box square knotted I think that's what that's called and then I think what I'm gonna try to do is pull it over the top so that it kind of gets a a little bit more height and B a little bit more strength we have to go find a knife <clears throat> And then I think this rope's gonna get the best of me here. So I will have to find, I'll try to link all those tools down in the description so that if you like them, you can find them and order them. All right, we got a box cutter knife. Probably not the tool for the job, but it's sharp and it'll work, so that's what we're using. People on motorcycles. They have so much fun. We gotta get out on the bike. I miss the bike. so much with you guys you guys don't even know like how much I struggle <laughs> when I'm videoing with you guys which I guess takes time and I wow my apologies I didn't mean to drop you Garden bed should be uh, more level than that. Okay. You stay. Okay, so. We're actually, see, but now it was all wrapped around and now it's just a cluster. Oh well, it will be okay. We will get this done. So, we're gonna cut this. Probably have to burn the end of it so that it doesn't fray on us.
Oh no. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. It's pretty sturdy. Things should be able to grow on that, right? Let me wipe you off so that I can see what I'm talking about here. Things should be able to grow on that, right? That looks fairly sturdy. Cucumbers. Should have no problem on that. All right, now what we will do, I'll show you one of these and then I'll let you guys get back to your lives. Um, there's like a red, I don't know what that is. There's like a red something coming off of here. I don't know what it is. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, you guys see this? The sun is really going to be a bear for us today. Okay, so you can see this. No, you can't. You still cannot see what I'm talking about. Okay, this string, we are now going to tie a string from here and drop it down to each individual cucumber plant. So, we're going to go with, oh boy, where'd the end go, y'all? There it is. Okay, so we need what? How long? That's what I'm gonna do. All right, change of plans. We are going to do the, hmm. we're gonna do this string going down to these bigger ones because they already want something to hang on to. Whereas the little ones, don't quite want something to hang on to and instead of having the string just flopping around I'm gonna make a mess y'all this is gonna be terrible okay so we're gonna tie this here Or not. And then we'll drop this down. And what should happen, in theory, is this. We'll wrap around the string. There we go. Okay, so, all right, I'll show you what I did here to make this more apt to want to do what I want to do. So what I did was we cut this string long enough that it can hang down and then what I did is I just wrapped the cucumber plant around the string so that it almost doesn't have a choice. 
but to grab on and just keep going. So we're gonna do the same with this one over here. This one's still more upright. This one you can see kind of bent over and was kind of just growing to the side. This one's still going upright, so I think we're getting this one a little quicker and a little better. And then on this side, I will start by getting these two set up because those are the biggest ones. And then as the rest of the peas come up to play, we will do those. All right, y'all. It's kind of dry in here. Might have to do some watering tonight. Definitely got to make some dinner. We got some uh, fried chicken. We have a couple places around here that uh, are very, it's a, it's a feud. You have to like one or the other and it's very, it's a very tense argument. And so we finally tried one uh, for their fried chicken and it's pretty good. So Big K still thinks that the one closest to us is better and that one is not part of the feud, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. So on your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that little bell notification, and I will definitely get those links to you, which means this video probably won't upload until the middle of the night or early in the morning. Um, and if you find a dog, I don't think either one of them are down there. I think they're finally learning to stay up here. Um, If you do see them, if you could send them back, that'd be great. And I really do appreciate y'all. I really, really do.